It's a football game that has been played in Manchester since the 1980s. The history of playing on Thanksgiving is really, really long in the city of Manchester, so we're glad that we get to play. But this year, it will be played the night before Thanksgiving due to the frigid forecast, the first time it's been rescheduled due to weather. I think the administrators in the city were, were real smart and really proactive on it. I guess it's supposed to be in the minus zero wind chill factor on Thursday morning, so uh, just think about the fans and the players that are standing on the sideline. And it's not just affecting Manchester's tradition. School administrators have canceled the turkey tussle between Keene High School and Monadnock Regional High School. Hypothermia, some frostbite. We're talking about a two, three hour game standing in minus degree uh, temperatures. So you can layer up as much as you want, but that's still going to be a real cold day. But the cold weather isn't stopping more than 20 road races on Thanksgiving Day. New Hampshireites are, are a hardy, hardy bunch of people. And we've run in races a lot colder, just never this cold on Thanksgiving. The Thanksgiving Day 5K is the largest race in the state and will bring out more than 2,500 runners in Manchester, many who have advice for those who aren't used to running in this bitter cold. Hat, gloves, a face mask, good pants, and the layers really do help you out a lot. And get dry after because you will still sweat. You want to make sure you dry off after so you don't catch a chill. If you'd like to brave the cold and cheer on those runners, the race starts right here in Manchester at 9 a.m. Reporting live in Manchester, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.